Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to part two of how to uh, rank your website on the first page of Google by using long tail keyword domain names. So in the first video, we talked about uh, what are long tail keywords. We talked about uh, finding out how many searches the keyword gets each month and then checking the competition of the keyword. So what we've got to now is this is my list that we had from 100 keywords before <clears throat> and I've narrowed them down and to show you the competition of these keywords. So here in this column, this is how many searches these keywords are getting each month. Okay, I don't actually need this in here. Let's just delete that. All right. So this is the keywords. This is how many searches are getting each month on average. And this is the competition. So this means learn to play piano as a keyword is typed in Google on average 60,500 times, which is pretty good going. Uh, but it's got a competition of 640,000, which is still quite high, really. Uh, it's not, yeah, it's not bad, but it's quite a lot. Um, that means that keyword is appearing on websites uh, on around about 640,000 websites or appearing 640,000 times. So one that's much better, this one here is quite long, but it's still great. How do I learn to play the piano is the keyword. So if you use that as your domain name, how do I learn to play the piano.com? Quite long, but that's no problem really. Um, it's got six, 60,500 searches each month, which is uh, good going, but it's only got 74,500 as a competition, which is really not that high, really. It's, it's okay. So personally, I would choose that one. The others, how, how to learn, how to learn keyboard. It's only got 31,000, 33,000 searches. So it's half of this one, but it's got massive, much, much more competition. So I would also ignore that. This one's not too bad. Piano lessons online. Obviously, providing that your business is piano lessons online and not, not from home. <laughs> Make it obviously, uh, relevant to what you're doing. Um, it's got 22,000 searches. It's a bit low if you're looking, if you're marketing globally. If you're looking that, if you're marketing that, locally then that's great but globally um, could be a bit low but the competition is not that high either but out of these ones I would definitely go for this one how do I learn to play piano how do I learn to play the piano um, <clears throat> 60,000 searches and any competition of 74,000 so what we're going to do now is going to go to um, a name registrant such as GoDaddy or Namecheap is also good they're the two I use but let's go to GoDaddy um, Login. Oops. Okay, and ideally you want to go for a um, a dot com, a dot org, or a dot net. Okay, first and foremost, go for a dot com if you can. I'll ignore the rest, but if you can't get a dot com, dot org, or dot net, are also uh, the second best, really second best ones to go for. Also, avoid putting any hyphens or any strange symbols or numbers into your domain name as well. Okay, so that won't help you. So just keep the domain name as it is, or like written as one word. Now on here, we are going to go to um, to uh, find your domain. <clears throat> okay, and in the search box here, start your domain search here. We're going to type in our keyword. So let's double check, obviously we get the exact keyword. How do I learn to play the piano? So let's type that in. How do I Okay, so all type it in as one word, uh, all lowercase, and it's got the .com there. You can select others, but we want to first and foremost look for .com. Go to search, and if it's available, you can buy it. Uh, Right, okay, so it's already registered. Someone's already got that. So someone's obviously already been savvy enough to snap that one up. Uh, but it is offering us these other options. So you can have the same as a .NET for six seventy nine, which is really cheap. That's £6.79, which is around about um, uh, $10, I guess, 10 11 US dollars. It's not much. Um, or you can have the same for .org for £12.29, which is about $16, I'd imagine, something like that. Okay, so that's what you can do. Personally, I, I mean, considering it's got a lot of a good amount of searches, that's really good, um, and the competition is very low, I, and you can only get a .NET, I'd get the .NET 
um, and that that's it. So all you do is just you just click on it, add to cart, <clears throat> go to buy it, and you use that for your for your um, uh, domain name for your for your website. So what what this will mean when people type in those exact words, your website is pretty much going to come up as one of the first on, on Google on the first page. You also want to be doing other other things as well, other other SEO tactics. Um, but that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. <clears throat> Good luck with finding a, an appropriate domain name uh, for your business. If you want more um, information on uh, more tips on SEO and how to get on the first page of Google, uh, I'd like to offer you my free gift, which is at the bottom of this website. Just go to in the about section, go to the link below and download your free copy uh, of Affiliate Assassin. <clears throat> Give you lots and lots of information on uh, how to get your website uh, on the first page of Google and make money online. So best of luck. Okay, bye for now.